Hi coaches and welcome to Wonder League's Robotics Competition Year 6. So excited to have you all here. Please use this video to get a little bit more familiarized with the Coach's Corner, the Coach's Dashboard, and how you're going to best utilize the submission process. Uh, for all of those that are new that just registered, you should already be familiar with how to log in. However, let's just show you. Um, if you come to our homepage, just simply click, click on the Class Connect button up here. It will take you to your portal. Um, from here, you can access a variety of different resources, not just the Wonder League Robotics Competition and your coach's dashboard. You can, from here, also learn more about Class Connect. Um, this tool is what uh, you will be needing to use if you want to work with the virtual robot. We have some free trials going on, uh, so I highly recommend that you check it out. Uh, this year's missions have a remote option just to help the kids test out those skills a little further on their own time and or if you're working remotely, they can practice some of those skills on their own. Um, by no means will you be able to complete all five missions just with the virtual robot. But again, think of it as an extra practice tool. And we are constantly working on new features. Uh, to bring this tool much more to a level where eventually you will be able to host the competition, uh, maybe just through here, but uh, more to come. Anyway, if you guys go down to the Wonder League Robotics competition, um, you'll be able to get to your coach's dashboard. From here, you can register new teams. You can share teams. This works great if you're working with um, any volunteers or peer coaches. Uh, this way they can access your team and share on behalf of them, submit content on behalf of them, as well as change anything if needed. From here, you can also access the Coaches Corner. This is uh, your one-stop shop for all the resources that you're going to be needing to use for the um, this year's competition. So just so we can take a peek from here, if you haven't already seen this, this is where you're going to find the coach's guide, uh, the missions. We try to present it in two different formats for you. So you can download the PDF or you can um, use the slides. Uh, you can also modify them as you need. Um, here you also have access to the coach's discount. Feel free to use this. It's 20% off your entire order. You just need to utilize it before the end of the year, and it's uh, good for one discount per coach. Also, you have access to obviously the themed mat or different ways in which you can utilize, create your own. You can uh, get more information on that through the coach's guide. Uh, coach's badge, we love seeing the pride that our coaches take by having this on their email signatures and or on social, so feel free to utilize that. And then as you scroll down, you'll find different resources for you guys to utilize as you see fit. Um, these flyers are great to either send home, sign up, you can use them digitally too. Um, let us know if you need any other uh, resources to help you recruit more teams. Happy to always help and hear from our audience about what would work best for them. Um, if you are new or have been utilizing us in the last couple of years, um, you might be familiar with our playlist that we've done with Cartoon Network, Craig of the Creek has some great episodes. They're fun, they're playful, they're smart. Um, I highly recommend checking them out. Also give kids some context to the characters and to the storyline. And this year we're obviously introducing some new strong female roles. So uh, highly recommend that you dive into those. They're always fun. Logbooks. You don't necessarily need these for the first five missions. However, we highly recommend that you start getting your kids used to them because they are um, required in the final round. Um, so again, this also helps kids reflect and plan and design uh, their problem solving to, uh, approach uh, to each mission. Um, if you wanna celebrate some small wins, you can download this. There's one through five, um, mission certificates so you can hand them out as they complete them and we'll obviously continue to um, update this as we get through the next year also keep an eye out for the t-shirt design and some sticker designs those will be coming uh, soon um, if they're not already up by the time you view this and of course if you ever want some extended content we've got these mini missions that you can use um, as well as you have a plethora of content through uh, the previous year's library. So feel free to use that. 
So just to go back to um, the portal, um, also from here, you'll be able to access the community forum. This is hosted on Edmodo. Um, I'm already logged in, so I'll just kind of show you. This is where we're pretty much communicating with you guys um, on a weekly basis if there's anything new coming up, uh, if coaches are struggling with something, they're gonna usually post some ideas or thoughts here. Um, Support is obviously going through here. You'll get a quicker response if you go through this channel than you will if you were to uh, go through social and or through our customer service um, portal. So highly recommend you get familiar with this. Let us know if you're having any problems. And if we go back to the portal. Um, so if you haven't already done so, you can register a new team. Super, super simple. Fill out the team name, the age bracket, and then this label you can use as however you want. So you could use it as uh, meets Monday, meets at so-and-so time. So if you're working with a ton of teams, um, we heard from coaches that this was nice to have as a different way to um, uh, organize their teams. Uh, so you don't need to use it, it's just there as an extra way to help. Once you um, create a team, you can click on it and you'll be able to see how to submit content. So um, you can see here there's five missions and once you get into the final round, this will unlock. Um, right now you can see I don't have any uh, team names, so I might enter um, a team name. We try to just keep it first name only. If you want to add um, initial, you can, but you can see that we don't even allow a space and this is just uh, for a privacy issue. We take it very seriously and we don't need any uh, personal identifying information from your kids. Um, so age, gender, um, and then you can just simply add that. Um, and then let's go into a submission. So let's say I've gone through mission one, I click in here, it's gonna walk you through all of this. Let's say you have different teams, they would be here in a dropdown. Um, also, if you want to move through the different missions and submit things all at once, go for it. Or if you wanna um, submit things little by little, you can also do that. If you ever get um, confused, you can just click this and it'll take you to the missions um, themselves through the Google side deck. Um, so every mission is going to include two things across the board. That is a program key. So if you're working with Blockly or uh, Wonder, uh, there'll be a program key that you can share and you simply just write that in here. If you're working with Q, you'll be uploading a screenshot or screenshots of your program um, as we don't yet have a program key feature in that um, app. Um, and you'll also be uploading a short video that just shows that you completed the mission. So for example, mission one, I would need to see a video that shows dash locating both of the turtles, um, any custom sounds or a light pattern that you programmed in, um, and of course not touching any of the fallen logs. You can upload this however you see fit. If you wanna put them all into a folder, um, you can then utilize that folder across the board as you scroll down and add more videos, um, whatever is easiest for you. And then again, you can kind of see how you do the program or the bonus points etc. One more thing to point out is you'll probably see this. Um, item 1, 1A and item 1B um, and one has 20 points and one has zero points. Our system doesn't yet allow for multiple um, submissions for one item so we do it this way. You have to um, submit both of them to count for the 20 points. So that's why you see this as a zero and this one as a 20. So hopefully that's not too confusing, um, but um, I know that sometimes it can be. So just to go back here, once you've finalized those, um, you'll see this change, or I'm sorry, you can change this to showcase where you're at. So again, think of this as just another way to organize um, how your team is moving through this. Also, when you do submit this, um, you will, uh, it will ping you. These will turn green if they're ready to go, and if they're not, they'll stay red. So it, it does try to guide you through the process the best that it can. <laughs> Again, once you're completed all of these, you can review and finalize, and this will give you a chance to review it, and then you know finally submit it um, 
when we get to the final deadline, we will finalize everyone's dashboard. Um, so even if you forget, uh, we will do that for you. We just try to make sure that you guys have time to review them and finalize them before that end date. Um, let's see, anything else to go over? Uh, remember, there's just some uh, main details in terms of dates up here. This is your coach's code. So if you ever do want to share your team with another um, coach, you'll use this coach code, not to be confused with your Class Connect teacher code. They're both different. Um, and again, we have some you know little things here to help you if you, you get lost and, and um, need some extra uh, hand-holding or uh, review of how things work. So that is it. Please let us know if you have any other questions, ideas. Um, please feel free to share with us your uh, celebrations and your moments as your team walks through this really fun and enjoyable uh, robotics competition. Thanks so much.